The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The Philippine government announces an economic growth rate of 7.3% during 2010, the fastest in 24 years, with public optimism buoyed by President Benigno Aquino's pledges for greater government transparency, expansion of trade, and agricultural recovery. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and visiting Malaysian Minister of International Trade and Industry Mustafa Mohammed discuss increasing economic and trade cooperation between the two countries. A study published in the journal Ophthalmology shows that ad specs or self-adjustable eyeglasses developed by Professor Joshua D. Silver of Oxford University in the UK are helping to provide an affordable way for less fortunate children in developing nations to correct their nearsightedness. Japan's space agency launches a satellite with an electricity-charged metal net spanning several kilometers, intended to catch and collect some of the estimated 10 million pieces of human-made debris circulating the Earth in space. Following a campaign and petition by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, the U.S. Department of Transportation begins promoting non-animal methods for corrosivity tests required by the department for companies transporting chemicals. The United Arab Emirates charity Zakat Fund donates a total of 2.7 million U.S. dollars in school fees during 2010 to assist some 2,800 less fortunate students. During his Marathon Quest 250 in support of the charity Right to Play, 55-year-old Canadian Martin Parnell ran five marathons a week for an entire year, totaling 10,550 kilometers to raise 250,000 U.S. dollars for 5,000 underprivileged children to be able to improve their livelihoods through sports. Supreme Master Ching Hai is pledging 10,000 US dollars to support Mr. Parnell's dedicated and caring endeavor. Medical specialist Dr. John Zoroyan of Emory Sports Medicine Center in Georgia, USA develops a new knee surgery technology that enables the reconstruction of cartilage and tissue without hindering young athletes' normal growth. A letter from Cyprus President Dimitris Christophias to his Palestinian counterpart Mahmoud Abbas acknowledges recognition of Palestine's statehood while pledging to raise the status of the Palestinian diplomatic delegation in Nicosia to that of an embassy.